would you go to as far as saying what you've been doing is basically you're handing them the bottle, you're handing them the needle or the drug itself? I absolutely what you, would. What you're doing. You're I absolutely enabling. would. I absolutely would. You are, you're a part of the problem. You're getting them high. Welcome to Mission Driven. I'm Derek. And I'm Brother A. Mission Driven is here for us to provide you with information and resources to help you identify those around you that may be struggling with life debilitating addictions. We work with addicts every day and this is such a great resource and this is that's really what we want this to be is a resource for you to be able to help identify and help those around you or even help yourself because we've really been talking about relapse prevention and it's such a vital topic that we've been we spent quite Absolutely. a bit of time on it and in the last podcast we were talking about tough love and we're going to continue our talking about tough love and we kind of alluded last time that we're going to get to hear brother a's story of the tough love that his mom showed him absolutely absolutely uh you know tough love is such a important factor i believe in uh helping your loved one or anyone uh, that you con- come in contact with uh address uh their their addiction and right. deal with their addiction and really focus on recovery. Um, but as I mentioned in the last pot, podcast, I can't demonstrate tough love to anyone who doesn't doesn't really believe I care about them. Right. They, they have to first know and believe uh, that I care about them. Right. <laughs> you can't show tough love unless you love them. Otherwise, yeah. you're just being tough. Absolutely. <laughs> There's no love tough. in it. <laughs> you're just being tough in it. And, and it's not going to be effective. They're not going to connect with you. You know, the connection there is the love aspect. Right. That I believe you love me, and even though you're being tough right now, even though you're saying no. Right. And you're not giving in to what I'm trying to manipulate uh, you to do. Right. Uh, you're not giving in to being being a part of my problem. Right. But you're you're making. Uh, a, a sincere effort out of love to be a part of the solution, right? In helping me uh, get a get a hold of this addiction and 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 get into recovery. And, you know, it's, and sometimes it's, it's it's very hard to get parents. I've had I've had uh, uh, parents to say to me, "Look, uh, you know, I I, I I can't do that." And I said, is, the, "The question is not whether you can do it." The question is that this is what has to be done right. if you want to save their lives. Right. If you want to save their life, you have to be willing to take that. What you've been doing hasn't been working. Right. Would you go to as far as saying what you've been doing is basically you're handing them the bottle, you're handing them the needle or the drug itself? I absolutely what you're, would. What you're doing. You're I absolutely enabling. would. I absolutely would. You are, you're a part of the problem. You're getting them high. Uh, because you're not taking a stand, you're not standing your ground, as we as we said uh, in the last podcast, and and often they are using, they're playing on you for sympathy, right, and manipulating you to rescue them and to give them what they want. Uh, uh, and so many times I see loved ones uh, allow themselves to fall into that trap, right. I mean, we talked about the tough love and those that come to you and ask for, hey, let me have some money. And you right. already know that they're going to be right. taking that money and going to go buy drugs. Right. You're no better. You might as well just go ahead and take the money yourself and go buy the drugs and give them the drugs. Right. That's exactly what you're doing. Or the same to the parent that says, hey, to the high school student, you can get drunk in the house mm-hmm. just as long as you don't get drunk anywhere else because I don't want you driving. You're not helping the situation. Right. You're causing more problems, and one underage drinking. <laughs> you're not supposed to be doing that, anyways. But that you're just adding to the situation. Right. That is not tough love. You're enabling that individual. Right, and and the reality is, you, you you can't change what you're willing to tolerate. And so, as long as you continue to tolerate what they're doing, not call it out. You got to right. be willing to call it out. That's a big part of this idea of of tough love being willing to call out what you see and and not be concerned about hurting their feelings. Right. Right. Because if they've connected with the fact that you genuinely care, even though they, their feelings might get hurt, uh, uh, they, they will receive it from you. Right. That's what's important. Now, if, it, if they don't know or believe you care, then, you know, it may not even hurt them, you right. know, right. Uh, but it hurts 
for sure when I believe you care. So, you know, that 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 going into my own story, you know, 27 years ago uh, and my mom looking at me and saying, you know, at one point when I came to her door, look, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I don't have a son and closing the door in my face. Wow. Uh, that had such a, a, a profound impact on me because I, I knew and believed, as I said in the last, last podcast, my mom loved me and right. cared about me. But she's hearing about all of these things that I'm doing out uh, in the streets. And, and she, she, she's, she's anticipating if something doesn't change, getting a call or, uh, uh, from, the, from the jail or from the hospital or uh, law enforcement knocking on the door and saying, your son... Uh, has died of an overdose or, 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 or he's been shot and killed out there yeah. uh, doing the things that he's doing. And that, that, that hurt her. But she also understood that she couldn't uh, ju- uh, coddle me. She right. couldn't. Uh, and, and she had to be concerned about her own safety. Uh, and so that, 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 that was her approach. But I also knew uh, at, at whatever point I needed her, she would be there because she right. loved me. Right. And and but that stuck to me. Right. That stuck to me. You know, I, I, I dove further into my addiction at that point. Uh, but that stayed in my head and in my heart. Right. You know, because for one, you know, for I think for most young men and men in general, the one person you kind of always <laughs> are confident that will be there is mom. Right. And so when mom closed the door that day and I that shattered my world. Right. You know, not so much in the sense that I didn't believe she was there, but the 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 re- the realization of how much I was hurting her. Right. Uh, uh, hit me. Right. And so even while I'm still using in the drug house, uh, this is on my in my head and in my heart. I'm hurting my mother. I'm hurting my mother. Yeah. Uh, and you know, interesting enough, I didn't know I didn't know the Lord at the time, but. Right. Uh, I believe it was the Lord put this in my spirit that uh, I'm sitting there and I'm using drugs. And what came to mind is that if I died right there, if I overdosed and died or if something happened and I lost my life right there, right. that my mother would have to live with a broken heart hmm. the rest wow. of her life. Yeah. But then uh, that that whole thought flipped and the thought came. If my mother died while I'm in this condition, while I'm doing what I'm doing. Right. She would die with a broken heart. Hmm. And I said, I don't want my mom to die with a broken heart. But that was a result of her demonstrating, showing tough love. Right. And and that realization hitting me, man, I'm I'm really hurting my mom. Right. And so that's why I would I would really strongly uh, uh, encourage uh, the mothers and the loved ones out there that don't shy away from showing that tough love. Right. Especially if they know that their child or their loved one or their husband or whoever it might be uh, knows that they genuinely and sincerely care about them. Right. Because that could be the very thing, the very catalyst that causes them to want to get help. Right. And to want to change their lives. So you, so they can't shy away from that. Right. And we're not talking about tough love that you're never going to talk to them again. We're talking about the tough love that you're not enabling. You're not going to give right. them the money. You're not right. going to be driving them to the their dealer. You're not going to be doing give them the alcohol in the house or that aspect of it. You're going to let them if they as saying says if they make their bed they're going to have to lie in it. But but in fact, they know that you're there. Right. They know that you you're there when they want help, when they decide to get help, they know that you're there and you're ready and willing to help them right. when it comes time to uh, for them to get the help because you're you have been communicating that not simply in your words, right. but you've been communicating that in your actions. Hey, right. when you when you want help, I'm here. Right. I'm here. The, I, I can tell you this, the moment I picked up and it was it was shortly after I left that 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 drug house that day and picked up the phone and called my mom. Right. And she was there. And she said, where are you? I'm coming to get you. Right. And that was the point where I began uh, to seek help. Right. And if you are one of those that are looking to seek help or get somebody in to help, give us a call at 833-462-8286 or go visit us online at atctn.org. 
and just click on that button button there that says get help now and there's a form and we will fill that out and we will get back to you within 24 hours and be able to start the ball rolling on getting your loved one or yourself help so check that out wow i mean it's just and that's the that's the most important thing is showing tough love is still being there for them um, when to help them pick them up and being there and loving them right. back through the recovery. Right. And we all fall. Right. And they, I mean, we, we always hear, I mean, they even say, hey, I, I'm trying to teach you from my mistakes. Right. We don't know what all the different mistakes that our parents made or those that are around us that have made it, that are there to show us that tough love and help us. Right. No, no, one, no one wants uh, to sit and watch their loved one slowly commit suicide no slowly uh, uh deteriorate in their life right. deteriorate who wants to watch that that's 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 tougher than showing tough love right it's tougher to watch that uh, uh than it is to show tough love right um and and you have more of a hope that that individual that loved one will get help if you are willing to uh, uh, show tough love and not continue to accommodate them hurting themselves and harming themselves. Yeah. You know, so that's important. <laughs> when you mentioned watching somebody deteriorate, I thought of somebody that's on their deathbed that's dying from something that's out of their control. Right. It's hard enough doing that. Right. Seeing a loved one dying of cancer or whatever illness it is, but then seeing somebody basically, I don't want to say voluntarily doing it to themselves, but basically having a choice to be able to get out of it. Well, it's something that's, yeah, exactly. So it's something that's avoidable. <laughs> right. You don't have to die that way. Right. You know, so why should I watch you die that way if you can get help and you can turn this around and you can enter into recovery? Right. And, and you, you, yes, you have to live a, a, a life of recovery. Right. But you can come out of this. It's different with a, a, a disease like cancer. Uh, you know, you have to go through all this this treatment and and hope that right. you know you will recover and that you know you will be cancer free. Right. But the reality is, if you work a spiritual program of recovery when as it relates to addiction, you don't have to continue in that lifestyle. Right. And it's like you can overcome to, it. Like we were talking back in the last podcast, is about the responsibility. Right. You have the responsibility to uh, get out of the the addiction right um and take that responsibility to get yourself out right or help those those that need to show the tough love to to a loved one show the tough love um yeah will it hurt yeah it's gonna hurt well my you know my mama used to say and i, I don't know if i totally ag agree agreed with it at the time you know right before i was about to get a spanking she yeah. said this is gonna <laughs> hurt me uh uh more than it hurts you well um uh, I I kind of know what she was saying there, right, uh, right? That it hurts her to have to do that. Yeah. Um. But uh, uh physically, it hurt me more. Right. Um. But it, I, it, in the same vein, if you relate that to what we're talking about in terms of tough love, it does hurt the person having to demonstrate tough tough love emotionally and uh, uh more than more than it 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 hurts the individual. Right. In that in that context, uh, because uh, emotionally you love, uh, you know, I imagine my mom when she closed that door, just, uh, you know, weeping and falling to her face uh, yeah. when she had to do that, um, because uh, uh, it hurt her to have to do that. It right. hurt her to have to uh, look at her son in the way he was and 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 know that if I don't do this, then uh, um, nothing will ever change. Right. Or or nothing may ever change, rather. Right. Uh, and I want him to get help and, you know, being willing to do whatever it, it took to get me to want help. Right. You know, and that's what this is really what we're really talking about, being willing to do whatever it takes yeah. uh, to get this person. Right. This loved one to want help. Right. And come to maybe putting that ultimatum down saying, do not come into this house until you are ready to get help. Yeah, or, 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 or you know, uh, call me when you're ready. Right. And I'm here. Right. When you want help. But until then, I, 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 can't, I can't 
continue this this relationship as it is no. because it is none. There is it's none. It's not and, healthy. And you're hurting me, <laughs> hurting me as much as you're hurting yourself, right. if not right. more. It hurts me to see you this way. Yeah. I, I can no longer uh, continue to endure seeing you this way. When you're ready to get help, I'm here for you. Right. Well, I thank your mom for showing that tough love for you to help open your eyes. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. I didn't know you back then, and I'm glad I know you now. Well, thank you, Derek. So, because, I mean, and I, if I ever meet your mom, I'm going to thank her. <laughs> <laughs> well, she may be uh, here soon as I do my uh, uh, pinning for a Navy chief. Yeah, and congratulations on that. Yeah. So, but I want to thank everybody for joining us today on Mission Driven. And please... If you have a loved one that needs that tough love, please, I cannot beg you enough, show them that tough love. Tell them, hey, you know what? When you are ready to get help, give me a call. I got somebody that you can talk to. And guess what? We're here. If you need Amen. to talk to somebody, you can give us a call at 833-462-8286. Visit us on our web at atctn.org. And just click that button on there, get help now, fill out that form, and we'll get back to you within the next 24 hours. Also, please remember, click on that subscribe button down there below on wherever you're listening or watching here on YouTube or Facebook. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give us a review, leave us a comment. Really would love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us. And remember, there is always hope from being free from your addictions.